I'm getting ready to do an angel painting tutorial with my friend Sharon who's actually going to join me here today and I hope you'll enjoy tuning in and let us know if you're you know thinking about doing a uh, painting of some sort for your children or grandchildren or neighbor come on in Sharon <laughs> Sharon's getting here now I was just going to show y'all real quick what we got all set up and then you'll be there you will put your boards down <laughs> and this is Sharon and I hope that me tagging you in this doesn't now spoil your Christmas present Okay. <laughs> she can untag herself later yeah. if, we, if she needs. I just wasn't sure. It'll but I wanted fine. to show you what all we have out here. Let me see if I can tilt it up. I got the whole table out here. Uh, Sharon, ma'am? I said awesome. Oh, yeah. I, uh, Sharon sent me pictures of her uh, grandchildren's bedroom. So I picked out paint colors that should uh, coordinate with that for us to choose from and Sharon is using these pecan wood boards from Texas Sharon and I actually drove to the lumber yard I and know. got these picked before and picked them out uh, before we made uh, some projects for a memorial project for her father mm -hmm. so the wood is sentimental other than it's pecan and their family had pecan groves and, and it's left over from a special sentimental project yeah. so I think it's gonna it gives me chills I think it's gonna be a perfect project for her to work on for her grandchildren and it's coming from her heart and it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm gonna paint along with her on this and I grabbed this is uh, from Michaels and this is one of the thick ones and, and you don't have to have this if you look right there I got a whole stack of the thin ones also from Michaels oh, it's like seven dollars for a whole big pack of those this was probably twenty dollars for one if i wouldn't have got it at an eighty percent off sale but i never got to paint on a really good one like this with this big thick wood on back so this is what i'm going to paint on today and i brought myself a couple of these but i also uh brought we have a big water container a small one for cleaning that out this in case we need to mist a whole honey load of brushes and some uh palette knives in case we need to use them and I wanted to show you you don't always have to have you know a perfect palette you could use a little bowl you could use a paper plate the and these are I'm gonna use this one today this is all just old dried stuff I have this huge nice one right here that now I've ruined too by leaving paint in it but I still use it all the time see if I can pick this up this is like the insert to it where you mix this is the lid to it and there's the actual thing I've painted in every piece of it <laughs> <laughs> we brought a, a large black and a white because we use more of them and just in case she wants to add some texture paste or mother of pearl or iridescent medium and the brushes I've got some good fancy expensive brushes and I've got some El Cheapo from Michaels brushes and we'll just intermix them all in and if you want to know about the wet palette I'm going to tell you about in just a minute I think I've showed most every these before I just uh, made Sharon a fresh batch I'm letting her use my wet palette today so I must love her right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's just in case she decides to do one here and do the other one at home she can take this home and her paint will still be good to when she's ready oh, okay. and I've had it soaking for about 15 minutes uh, I put a new sponge under here this morning mm -hmm. and a new paper here and that once we wherever I put the lid once we put the uh, lid back on it mm -hmm. that paint will stay moist to where you can use it uh, I've used it a month after I put it in there oh, cool. and uh, so there's you know new sponges and papers that's yeah, inexpensive yeah sponge. that's my favorite uh, <laughs> my favorite palette it has all my good juju in it for all my favorite paintings awesome and I'm gonna be so blessed hi Melissa <laughs> and I'm gonna that's it Yep, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to try to move the camera closer and flip it around to where y'all can just see what we're doing. And this is the actual for that other painting later. Awesome. For yeah, yeah. Oh, the, oh, yeah, yeah. The other one. Yeah, the other one. <laughs> and uh, let's see. I think you can see us both. I want to make sure it's in. Hi, Amy. That it's uh, in the center. So we're going to do that. And we're not going to try to do them just alike. We're not going to try to do them. Mm -hmm like anything it's 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 going to be sort of an intuitive thing that comes out of our hearts and we'll do it how we do also have a blow dryer and some wipes over there <laughs> in case we coffee. need i'm not quite done yet but yeah i'll finish it in a minute. i have a giant tea so <laughs> these are the best cups too the java joe cups they're nice and warm oh uh, yes they, <laughs> they do a good job warming them up for us 
Okay, so hopefully let me see if I can tilt it down a little bit more because you really okay. don't need to see right. us at this point, just what we're doing. Okay. Now, did you think about whether you wanted to paint the uh, background on these or whether you want to leave the wood background? I think I do want to paint the background. Okay. Do you know, do you want to do them like white or do you want to do them a, a color? Uh, if I did, not pure white, but in the grayish, you know, okay. kind of, okay. you know, where, where that would be. It can even be um, not like solid. Yeah, you see yeah. What I mean? so well, I'll, I'll show you a good yes. technique for that too. So we'll use. We don't have gray. We, we have well, uh, black and white, which is we're going to make okay. gray. Okay. Sharon's <laughs> a science teacher. She probably knew that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> this black is really thick, okay. but uh, we'll so, so we'll, we'll put some of that in your palette. Alrighty. And, and gonna are you going to do them, both backgrounds the same? Yes, color? I want okay. to keep them as similar okay. as possible at points. So okay. I figured the background yeah. would be something mm -hmm. and then we can That's change. That's a great idea. Yes. And you can decide whether, because this is a little bit rough yes. cut here, whether to leave that mm -hmm. or whether to paint that too, because you can paint over the rough okay. part. It doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is, is go ahead and get her out some white and some black. Here's a Okay. Like, <laughs> I grabbed. I got one now. Okay. Uh, and you won't need as much black as you do white, obviously. Okay. But whenever you're mixing and you'll blend in between these two, and you can probably blend with this little knife I have okay. here. Uh, when you're blending the two, always remember to that you're wanting to put a little bit of black into your white okay. because we would be in trouble and lose this whole pile to a gray shade that you may not like if we did try to add the white to the gray because it'll just grow and never turn. Okay. But there's still a little bit actually on the high. Donna, there's still a little bit of the black where I scooped it out on this thing, so I'm going to recommend that Sharon split it up like this, get her a little bit of white over here to blend with, and just start mashing it like this okay. around to start getting the gray. And then if you want it a tad darker, mm -hmm. just pinch tiny yourself a bit, tad of uh, black, okay. and then, you know, or white, because you can always add to it. And I'm gonna mist this. I don't always, you don't have to, but I'm using this misting bottle that I use for most everything else. I wouldn't have done this on the wood, but a lot of times these uh, canvases, they're pre-gessoed, which means they're prepared for paint. And and the I found that they can be thirsty and I don't want it to be drying out my paint and causing a drag with my brushes. Okay. So I'm just gonna mist it. I wouldn't have known that. And you can there, see how you got a little bit of a marble swirl mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that you can stop there mm -hmm. and use the brush and start applying. Okay. Or into where brush. it'll have a little bit of a okay. uh, thing. And I got us out in case you wanted to do the, okay. the I didn't need to do, put one. anything on mm -mm. this first. No. Nope. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We can go straight the acrylic to the wood. I didn't double check which side. You know, I don't know if one's better than the other. I think I like that side. Yeah. I realize but, it might not, this color won't come through, but the back will still. Right. You know right. what? If I like well, that side true. better, then this is the side I want. So that can be the side that's on the back. Yep. I'll sign my name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, dampening a brush for her. I've got my big cleaning bucket over here, but since we're gonna be using uh, so many colors and that's gonna get muddy here in a little while, I got us a, a new little cup sitting here just to wet our brushes in that's not gonna get contaminated so much with the color. And you, you know, you may have to mix more as you go, yeah. but this will be a good size brush to, okay. and it doesn't matter when you start, mm -hmm. how you just slather it all over the place, just because after you yeah, zigzag this way, that way, because afterward we're gonna, we'll go back and make the, the line smooth if we want. Okay. Yeah. And you may end up using more. every bit of that white, okay. making more gray. And we got more if we need more. All right. I'm gonna, let's see, I changed my mind. I'm gonna use this bigger one instead of that tiny one because I'm going to mix myself a background. But you know what I think I'm going to do? Uh, light blue. We have a couple of blues here. These are the most popular and I generally, this is about all the yeah. blue I use other than teals. This is the ultramarine blue and the cerulean blue. These are both by Blick if you want any of the stuff that I have here, I probably have uh, affiliate links for. So if anybody's interested in anything, say the wet palette or the uh, the paints or anything like that, just put the word for it in there, and I'll come back later and, and add the link. Do I dip this in this if, one? If you feel, okay. yeah. If you feel like it need, or either one actually okay. here in okay. the beginning. But if yeah, you feel like see, it needs, yeah, that spread it out more. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So. Um, this is more of your sky blue and more of your ocean blue. So I'm gonna 
do the one that I didn't want to. I <laughs> do it by talking instead of working. And just make myself some blue. And I'm going to put mine on with a palette knife. And I'm just mixing up a little as we go. Can y'all see Sharon real good? She's... I like how this marbling's coming. Mm -hmm. I like that I see a little, a few streaks of the black already in there. Yeah, I like that too. There we go. Okay. I'm wanting my blue lighter, so I'm adding some more white. Yeah, see how this isn't like pure white mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah, I, I like that. I think better. that's it good. Better. And I think it'll look good in both of their of mm -hmm. their bedrooms. I think so too. One of the rooms had like some black and yellow with a little bit of blue and the other room had I couldn't tell if that was a fuchsia or a red for the bed skirt it's, that's on it's there. not a red it's okay. it is closer to a fuchsia okay um, what it is is in the one room is the Dr. Seuss colors and in ah. the other room it's the uh, Alice in Wonderland colors so oh, if you cool. go and look at those products you'll see you know what what it is because it's actually called like Dr. Seuss Blue. <laughs> Y'all, I'm Seuss too Scots. old. If I ever knew that, <laughs> my kids are in their 30s and 40s. I have forgotten it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm learning all sorts of things. Being a Mina now, that's what my grandson calls me, is Mina. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> Mine call sweetheart. me T. Aw. He is a sweetheart. How old is he now? He'll be two. He's almost two. He'll be two in January, and he's about ready to have a little sister. Oh, congratulations. Yay. So one of these is for each one. <laughs> hey, we'll see you later. See what I'm doing? I'm on TV. Oh, yeah, she's there. <laughs> Y'all say hey on the live. There's, uh, I can't turn it around there, but there's Sheree. There's, there's Sue Ellie. There's Sue Ellie. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. There we go. We were in our yoga class earlier. That's why we look all, you know, worked out and everything. I think everybody looks beautiful. Why, thank you. Our skin's nice and bright. We're yeah, working right. out and everything. We've at least got that. But I'm going to be making these two for the children, the grandbabies. So it's going to be a flag? Or? It'll be a little angel to put in your room. It, like like a regular painting just on wood instead of canvas. Because yeah. okay. this is the wood that was in Daddy's um, little, his flag mm -hmm. display case and his memorial um, shadow box. <laughs> well, you girls have fun. We will. Thank, thank you. you. Look forward to seeing the finished product. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Uh -huh. Yeah, Jerry, I like this. Oh, thank you. The, I did those for the Christmas window last year, and we're going to put them out there for sale this year. <laughs> All of that is stuff that I painted, and I'm like, well, I don't need it. I'm always painting a new one, but thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> thank you. And I'm trying to decide whether to come around the corners of mine, and I'm going to go ahead with the darker blue, because why the hay not? I want yeah. a little bit of that darker to uh, come out on the edges of my canvas here, too. You know, I'm kind of thinking as I'm looking at this, I sort of like how, as I did it, some of the wood grain is yeah, coming through. Yeah, that's, I think so, that's a really good look sometimes, I think, too. I think I might keep it that way. Yeah. You know, just sort of evening it yeah. out, because I had a little more water on one set than the other, but I think that'll work. Let me do this one. You can mix right on your canvas, too. See, I've already got some blue on there. And I'm going to just go ahead and stick some white on there. Not because I want it whiter, but because I'm out of blue on my palette and I need it to spread out. So I, I do generally choose to do the sides of my canvases. I think I will too on this. Yeah. Just kind of finish it off and just let the pretty part yeah. be. And you can decide back. whether to leave that gray and, mm -hmm. and do the same colors on your sides or mm -hmm. whether to do them with more of the white or more of the black or any other color. You know what I mean? I think I might do the same color. Yeah. I, I kind of like the uniformity. <laughs> I, I let the I let the uh, I let the difference be in the painting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Of oh, the angel. Kind of nice being ambidextrous. Yes. When one hand gets tired, I can work on the other. I'm having to do um, more broad broad movement things now. I have fibromyalgia and it's very difficult for me to do the finer things like cross stitching or mm. sewing and such like that. Oh yeah. But something like this, you know, with the broad stroke and all. 
especially when you're going for it being a little bit abstract and not worrying about yes. getting all tight and focused in there and trying right. to get everything perfect that that's not fun art and it stresses you out right. with this any little stroke you make you just pretend it was supposed to be that way and keep <laughs> on trucking <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I meant to do <laughs> I'm gonna need some more mix here okay get it going okay no i've got oh okay no, okay I'm, you got okay i see of me <laughs> what i have to do and since this is the size that they're a little bit darker it'll just do a bit of a shading yep and you can come around the front with that too i did a little bit with mine see i've got some of the darker blue going around those edges oh i see that okay that's a good idea uh -huh. And I'm just, I'm not doing exactly palette knife painting because I have a hard time. Hi, Donna. I have a hard time uh, being as gentle and light with the palette knife as I need to be. So, um, I'm using it like a paintbrush just because it was convenient. And what I'm wanting to prevent now is the is the line marks. See how I have the line marks on there? I'm going to try to zigzag this way and that way and get rid of some of that lightly. You know what I'm going to lightly drag with this great big one? This thing's big enough to put a small piece of pie. This is for skinny people pie. <laughs> <laughs> You're going, uh, we need the granddaddy of the pie things at yeah. our house. <laughs> I'm the pie maker at my house. How about you? Well, yes. I, I don't make a whole lot. I make berry pies a lot mm -hmm. because I like berries. Ooh. But uh, I make a lot of chicken pot pie. My oh, husband yes. loves chicken pot pie mm -hmm. and turkey pot pie after Thanksgiving. Does he like it with the homemade crust? Uh, probably, but I use that one in the long red box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand. I will do that. And I, there's this particular kind that's in the store that I like. Um, that's already in the little foil pan. And oh yeah, I didn't, and my grandmother used to use mm -hmm. those. And uh, but it's a particular one. I don't know if I'm allowed to say or oh, not. Oh sure. Oh okay. Well, it, it's um, now of course I'm, I've lost it. Well, actually, the Brookshire Brothers brand is pretty good, but it's cool. Murray Calendar. Oh yeah, she ever love find, her chicken pot pies. Yeah, but if you can ever find her crust, her pre-made crust, oh, yeah. that's really good too. And sometimes what I do is, um, like like a good Thanksgiving leftover thing that, that we like to do is you just use the bottom crust and you make your chicken pot pie, but then you put the mashed potatoes oh, like on top of it. Oh, like a shepherd's pie. Like a shepherd's yeah, pie, I yes. do make shepherd's pie occasionally. Uh -huh. We've so. been low carb for years, so we've mm. neglected potatoes and breads and things like that. But well, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> I had them all. <laughs> <laughs> I usually I like make, them yeah, all. I usually make the pies and the cornbread stuff. Yeah, I did make that this year. Usually I skip it. I've skipped it for three years. This year I, I did it, but now I feel bad. So, Aww. you know what I mean? I'm, I'm paying for it, but it might have been worth it. And I got you a, a, a oh, little small you. rag. Y'all, this is supposed to be your old washcloths or whatever. You can go get some of these dedicated to this. You can use paper towels. You can use whatever you want to. But all of our washcloths end up looking like this in no time because I tend to just all of them become work washcloths as soon as I can get my hands on them. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have the uh, blow dryer to at least dry the center of our backgrounds a little so that we can move forward. Sharon's is a little thinner, mine's a little thicker because I use the uh, palette knife. And, you know, a lot of people ask for a recommendation on the uh, Dryers. I have one of those little purple craft ones like you get in Hobby Lobby. And I have uh, a great big industrial one for like a hundred and something dollars from Lowe's. And I have this $9.99, I'll have a couple of these, blow dryer from Walmart. And this is what I pick up to use first every time. It has more fan blowing than the little bitty craft one. And it has less direct heat than the great big one. Plus it doesn't weigh much and it's okay. easy to just keep laying there. And so it's, you know, a nice little craft tool to have, or you can just go in the bathroom and get the one you have already and not have to buy something new. And as long as you don't get too close to the paint to bubble it up, um, it's good. Oh, that's pretty. I love it. 
I like it because it's going to be a boy and a girl. Yeah. You know, I'm going to make them somewhat different, yeah. obviously. But um, the neutral background, even if they, you know, a year from now, they're going to have a different bedroom suit yes. and it'll still. The grayish will yeah. still go. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm picking out of their little layette sets, I'm picking their more uh, common colors yeah. to, to do, yeah. of course, you know, with with some changes to where her, hers will have the Alice in Wonderland. There'll be a couple of colors that I'll pick that'll be an Alice in Wonderland kind of shade and a couple of colors for my grandson that'll be the Dr. Seuss shade. That'll be how they'll be different. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself out a couple of colors. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking too long. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm just I'm <laughs> just trying to think because I, I mean I only picked out colors that I knew I were in you your would, things, but yes. I didn't think about what colors I would use. Well, so you need to get some colors, huh? So I need to get you. some colors too for All right. my ladies here. And it doesn't, whenever you're thinking about the colors, the, the colors um, don't always matter. Sharon's going with the theme and, and she's going to choose that. But because you can, you know, if I want a purple and I didn't bring a purple, I can, you know, mix some red and blue together and add Make some white purple. to it or mm -hmm. add some gray to it. And I can have all the different shades and tones of the colors. You don't have to feel like you got to go out and buy every paint color there is. If you buy your primary colors, plus, you know, maybe a, a, a magenta and a couple of the shades of yellow and things like that, the uh, you're gonna be able to make all the colors that that you need so just like we didn't have a gray today uh, but I like Sharon may do real one. quick I like it too you know yeah uh, it's, it, and I didn't have a light blue so um, it's kind of feel we pretty. made it happen yeah and it's, it's I ended up getting the color of gray I wanted which which is kind True. of pale yep. it's sort of mottled um, almost a heathered gray And I could see if I if I wanted to, uh, you know, make them a little bit even more differently with a background color, I could have done like hers in a uh, teal green heathered gray and his in a teal blue heathered gray. Still use the gray bottom, but add it like a third and a fourth side over here. One would have a tiny bit of blue and one would have a tiny bit of green. That would have made them a little different maybe. Yeah, and I'm... I'm fixing to pretend I'm not stressing out over the fact I didn't bring any kind of flesh tone. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll make it work. We're going to make it work with it. I'm, I'm fixing to get out some yellow here and okay. I'm choosing, I brought three yellows today because I wasn't sure what, uh, what Sharon would, would want for the yellow oh, if I she's going to use yellow in hers. And I have a cad yellow light which if you look at it and you're not familiar with it, that's almost a, a very bright lemon pie mm -hmm. neon yeah, yellow um, which can tone down nicely if you're wanting a pale yellow and then this is a cadmium medium and a cadmium deep I, think I want it this way I'm even doing my yeah. pattern a certain way and I'm thinking I might want this one this way or see that little I like the, the little bit of a defect here mm -hmm. but I think I would rather it be down where the robes might be yeah. I think the yeah. flow might be look better. I think so. That's smart. What do you think? I, th I think Both so. Both of them look yeah. pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, I think more. so. Okay, and I'm I need to blow dry. Looking at the other two yellows here, I'm going to choose this darker one because it's a little bit orangey looking. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Let's see if it'll pull You can tell here. I'm a teacher. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Thank you, honey. Thank you, darling. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm going to try to get a decent amount over here for this, uh, all we really have for the angel is, is you know, the indication of where the face would be mm -hmm. and the, uh, you know, the hands or the arms a little bit. So we don't need a tremendous amount of... Uh, like what I did just then, unexpectedly. So I like I that too, I, like a dry brush a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, she's putting a little bit of dry brush on there to give it a little bit more rustic look, a little bit more streaks. That looks very nice. I'm now going to use uh, Alzarian Crimson Hue. I brought, uh, well, let me open this and see. I brought a Cad Red. Here comes the fan. You need it. Nope, I'm going to use the Cad Red. It's a little more orange, so I'm barely going to put any of this out.
very nice. I like it. Okay. In here I've got the uh, cad yellow medium, a little bit of cad red medium, and some white. And I'm going to try to make this whole big pile with the white be some type of flesh tone. And by adding just a minute about amount of red to begin with. Shoot, that's almost a flesh tone by itself, isn't it? And then you get, I mean, just the very pad of the yellow now, because I didn't know that would be so good. Let's see how that goes. You think that's enough? Yeah, it okay. just needs to wear, yeah. you don't know, smear anything with your hands, more or less, when we're going over the next I'll layer. Pop that right there yeah. out of your way. Get a little bit more. Just give it a little bit of color. And hopefully not regret that because that was a good bit trying to work on the flesh tone. Here. Okay. I just went ahead and left my nail polish on because I figured <laughs> mine was a mess. And I'm like, I am not. <laughs> well, that way it's not on today. my nails. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and then when true. I take it off, I take it all off together because I do need a new mirror. Yeah, me too. But this is worth it. It's so pretty. Oh, I was sure. trying to decide if, you know, if later, not today, but later, if I wanted to paint that background the same so that it's, it's oh, going to be more like this yeah. To, yeah. to where it would be at least consistent with these. Um, you know what, what it's going to be? It's going to be that mm -hmm. um, uh, pond and trees and the animals and the babies. But um, Here's my would this tone. color be okay as an initial background and I could add to it later? I think so. Like build I, up? Yeah, I okay. think so. I, I like uh, I like the natural with the wood grain showing through, but mm -hmm. then I like the consistency of all mm -hmm. of that going to Oh, so you're thinking that too. the original one, it might be better to do with just the wood Maybe. grain. Maybe, yeah. Okay, I hadn't thought of that. Well, that'll be fine. I think that'll be fine too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or not, we can always make more gray, you know this what I mean? True. And, and do it true. if you think on it. Okay, I'll think on it. <laughs> That's the only reason why I brought that was just in case I wanted yeah. some consistency. Um, yeah, I'm the, the same way. I've got It's going to be more of a up, landscape. Yeah, I had a bunch of uh, blackout yesterday, so I'm like, before I put up this brush, let me get this piece, let me get this piece. Okay. We are going to, let me uh, give you one other tip you can use. And I'm, I'm, you can, when you get ready to start out, a lot of us are thinking, oh, you're just going to go get your paint and go on there. But you don't have to. It's a lot of times it's easier if you'll decide how big you want your angel in this instance. How big do you want your angel to be? Mine's still dry. I mean, wet up there, so I'm going to turn mine around this way. How big do you want it to be? How much surface do you want it to take up? And then sketch something in. You can do this with a small paintbrush and, and any color at all. We're going to paint over this anyways, but I'm going to see. I had this uh, Prismacolor pencil here, so I decided to use that, and I'm going to give it to Sharon in just a second. But I'm on mine, I'm thinking her face is going to be about this size. Mm -hmm. And then the I like my angels. You can uh, wings to come up to a little bit of a point and then down, but you could also go rounded and then down. The, the, okay. This is a personal preference, but you're just trying, and it's not going to be exactly where everything's going to be, but you're just trying to get an indication of sort of the lines to stay within later. And then they'll have a, you know, sort of a, a little bit of a neck here and a little bit of shoulders mm -hmm. and usually come down with an arm to where you'll get to an elbow and cut in and that's about all you'll do at this point elbow just to get an indication of where that's going to be okay. and then the robes coming down which can be flowy and large or small mm -hmm. and then details to that will okay. be uh, later so yeah. there's mine if, if y'all can see it it's just very lightly on there just like a placeholder so whenever I'm going down with the paint I don't have to think about that then so Sharon's going to turn it around and let me see it are you, <laughs> are you and you can do long skinny ones yes I think well you, since this is a little mm -hmm. bit longer and slenderer of yep. the board I mm -hmm. think I will I'm kind of doing I'm still doing um, what do you call it where you block it a certain way I'm kind of going well she's about that far down because you need a little bit of room for the wings to go up mm -hmm. so you want your head to be you know a little further yep. down than what, what the actual top yeah. of the yeah. painting will yeah. be because the top of the painting will be the tips of the wings. 
Right, and so. we can always go in because I, I went about probably a third of the way down to yeah. start her head, but we can also always come back, especially with the type of backgrounds that we chose, with a little bit of one of the colors, either the white or the blue for me or black for her, or more different colors, gray, and get a little bit on your palette knife to drag to add to bring a little color up to those corners for your uh eyes if you need to. I'm kind of making mine a little draw bit more up. ovally. Is that okay? Uh, this absolutely. One, yeah, this one ended up being a little more ovally. And, this and one real faces did, are more ovally, yeah, so that, I think that's round. good. Okay, it just worked out that way. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't doing it on purpose. And then the next thing you did was the wing? I came, yeah, I came up. You can make a little bitty net just so you'll have a little bit of an indication of that. And I... Uh, Okay. Then, well, go ahead and do a shoulder out okay, a little bit on each one because that way you'll, uh, can y'all see where she's doing that? That way you'll have something sort of for it to know what your wings are okay. coming out of. So they're going to come up off of your shoulder, mm -hmm. like before, you know, around the neck coming okay. this way. And that can be rounded okay. or pointed. Right. And then just, just come back out okay. and go as far out toward the end okay. of your like, canvas your as you one. That, is this a pointed one? It is. And all okay. I did was just sort of curve around the same direction. Like that. Yep, absolutely. And then That's just awesome. kind of bring it down. And like then that. just bring it down. Yep. Okay. Let me try. They're sort of going to be sort of like they could be put together and look at yeah. each other. That's sort oh, of what cool. I'm... Oh, awesome. cool. I see if, the head's tilted now. Yeah, that's, tilted. That's awesome. Mm. Oh, that's great. Okay. That's not... I think I'll round it a little bit okay. when I paint it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So that's that one. And then the other one you kind of... It, it just more or less, they, the matching or not matching, you know what I mean? Just the, it's just getting the sort of the placeholder place in there for there. it. And I used to not work as much this way, okay. but this is so much easier. And then it, you said, um, like this right here. I came to, after the shoulders, I came down just it. a little bit enough to be to, to about as far as it would be to get to their elbow. And you just sort of, and it just sort oh, of came really more or less kind of straight down. Like yep, and, yep and, and on both sides. And then you're going to whatever's going to be with the hands, if your hands are going to go down straight or just make an okay. indication. That's what okay. I did of, of what would be arms and uh, to the elbow and then mine bend in because I'll probably put some hands, but some people don't mm -hmm. and, and that's a, a preference as well. And then after below and, that is when you And then like you just little... come on down for the, for the robe or the dress, whichever way you want to call it, and they can flow out as much or as little and you know that'll change from your drawing to what you know your painting yeah, will be. I think, I think I will and this one looks that. a little more masculine mm -hmm. and that one a little more feminine to tell you the truth. So <laughs> okay. that, you know, and this one was the one I was thinking you know, about. It, okay. And it does look a little bit darker and, it, mm -hmm. and this one was the one I was thinking about for my grandson and this one for my granddaughter. So yay awesome. me. Yay. <laughs> it's okay. like my head's already doing it. <laughs> this Have one went you, weird. Uh, it, I can put it in with the right. uh, things. Have you thought about I'm going to look through the brushes and see we don't want anything too big we don't a lot of times if you look at these they they splay out like that and and even though you twist it in your paint a little bit it, it still could cause a problem so we're gonna maybe go with uh see if i can find two like this with a little small angled brush oh, okay. and that way we can get a straight line mm -hmm. with it to go around the head okay but uh thank you so wet we, first. Uh, they're the these yeah uh -huh. these two may be wet already because I washed them out this morning because oh, I was you're using, using them. This for. <laughs> yeah, and you can dab on and off Got of that. It. Uh, <laughs> let's we're gonna share the. All right. uh, yes, that'll be fine. You place it right here in the middle. Oops, sorry. That's okay. What was that? That just that Mr. Oh bottle. yes, yes, I see that. Put that up there. We're gonna share the flesh tone here first, so. I'll watch you a little. Okay. I'm uh, sort of pushing down and flattening on the side of my brush each time I flip it over so that it doesn't end up with a big fat blob on the end because good, if good. you're not careful, it okay. will end up with a big fat blob. And then I picked mine up. You can, I didn't even get us an apron. Oh, I, uh, this is old. Okay I, okay. I dressed for the occasion. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, now this is you're actually gonna... my, my the, the children's father that I'm doing this for, he did go to the Air Force Academy for awesome. a, a summer yeah. a summer camp. Awesome. You know, where, and so he got to do like a summer boot camp type thing. Cool. So that's where this came from. Yay. There that, daddy. That's the way to bring it, <laughs> bring the spirit with you. There, daddy. <laughs> you're uh, now going to... We're going to work on the faces and a little bit on the arms just okay. to get some color in there, there for that. Oh, okay. And we'll lay it down. I'm just going to watch it. If I can. 
I'll watch it first. Okay. Here, you want me to pull this over? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, there you go. You're going to sort of lay this down on its side. Okay. And then it doesn't matter how you pull it over because we're going to be going around it and around it. But what we're mostly trying to do is, is flatten out okay. those edges so they're not too crazy. And once it's laying down, you, you can just swirl it straight around without ever picking it up and stay in that circle. And then we'll just, Wait, then you I just fill it in willy-nilly. back but I don't mind mine being somewhat less than perfect yeah I think that's important I think it's important to all of those things that give it the character that's yes. you know I mean you don't think about something like this we're enjoying ourselves today and yes. this is gonna gonna be a great gift but this is also a legacy these things these are the things that you hope that one day your grandchildren are showing their children my, my grandmother made this for me when I was a baby you know those things are <laughs> those things are special so yeah, I'm going I, back I in with another coat. I do love coat. being a grandmother oh isn't it the best yeah my uh, my little grandson he'll go Mina, come play. Mina, come play. Come play. And it, it's not like this. He's got his little hand oh going like gosh. that. Oh, my gosh. I know he's got to be so cute. He is. He's precious. Smart as a whip. And I haven't met our little granddaughter yet because she's just going to arrive anytime soon. That's awesome. So. Holiday baby. Yeah. I had one born on uh, Thanksgiving, oh, November oh 25th, and Candy had one born uh, Thanksgiving. His was, not, I mean, November. November 28th uh -huh. for Shelton. Uh -huh. And then uh, my daughter Mandy was born December 23rd. Oh. And Candy's daughter Jessalyn was born December 23rd. Oh my. So we, we hit right in up there. in the holidays. Yes, you do. I did kind of over swap that one. So That's okay. And you can, and we have plenty of time if you want to, you know, put more in or if you like yes. seeing some of the gray through. You can see uh, some of the blue through mine and I kind of like that. But the, the thing is we can go back later on and add more a week from now if we decide oh, to or later okay. today. But I'm trying it's not to, really sealed on the top after we're done then, right? Yeah, we don't use anything else over it. This, awesome. The acrylic sort of seals itself and doesn't require a sealer. But, um, when it dries, it doesn't blend. You know, it's it's once it's dry, you're painting over it when you put something else. All right. But uh, right now, because it is still wet, uh, and it dries pretty quick, and that's why I like acrylic more than uh, oil. I never use oil because I don't have the patience for that. Mm -hmm. But the uh, this will dry enough for me to put another coat on there. If y'all can see how you can sort of see the blue through there. Well, if I'm going with, you know, for sort of a rustic abstract feel, that adds to the character of it and you kind of want that to happen. Mm -hmm. But if we look at it later on and say, man, I wish it was clumped up on there, we can go back and add something like a texture paste and add it to some of this uh, same flesh tone color that we're using and sort of pounce it on there and give it that rough textured look. So that's that's pretty easy as well. I'm kind of trying to make it more of a circular, mm -hmm. you know, where it sort of smooths in the same direction. Yeah. If you'll notice, I am using my right hand more so than my left on this. <laughs> I think you have, uh, I, I think you might be using a little more water than you need to, too, oh. because uh, it looks a little bit thinner than mine. So I need to put a little bit more on? Yeah. Alrighty. There you go. Yeah. And that way it'll go on a little bit thicker. Got it. But that's another thing that you can do with the acrylic paints is, is really water them down a lot and you, you can use them, you know, as if they were a watercolor. Yeah. I noticed on uh, the one crib that it looked like watercolor flowers and it things did. on the sheet. It was so cute. It did. That's, that's going to be the new babies. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. is she, do you, does she have a name yet? Not, well, I'm sure they know the name. <laughs> it's still a secret. Yes, it's a secret, that's which awesome. is... Fine. Oh yeah. yeah, that's fun. When our grandson was born, they didn't even want to know if it was a boy or a girl, so nobody knew until he decided to make his arrival. That's awesome. And then we were, and my son was so funny because he sends a picture saying uh, he's uh, he didn't even say he's here. He said, "Look what look who he we have." <laughs> and of course, we were all going, "Is it a boy? Is it a girl? What is it? What is it? What's his, what's their name? What's it?" Because we didn't know. And so he sends a picture, and he says, well, guess. Oh, I, my goodness. Well, I looked at the at my grandson's hands, and I went, 
that's a boy because his hands look just like Jacob's when he was a baby and uh, his his hands are a lot like my daddy's so oh, the wow. shape yeah, the sh yeah. I went, that has to be a boy and, and I <laughs> said that awesome. before I knew <laughs> that's, that's awesome so but we know it's a little girl this time awesome. which is kind of cool I'm going to go ahead and come down uh, for the neck and the arms a little bit. And, and the re another reason for using this little angled brush is you can right. just sort of lay it to the side like this. Uh-huh. Oh, the neck and the arms. Okay. And that's going to make a straight line there. And then we can, can fill that out. You know, of course, shoulders are not extremely straight. But, you know, in this instance, the indication oh, of doing. shoulders. And we're probably going to go over these shoulders with a fabric color of the robe color in a minute. But it's good, you know, for your mind to be thinking about, okay, that's oh. the shoulder, and go ahead and get it in, and we'll cover that up with okay. the, you know, with, with a, the robe later. With the robe later. All right. So and it's okay that I went a little bit down into this? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it will we'll cover most of it up. But you just want to kind of get the hint of the, uh, you know, of the flesh tone in there. It's when, when they're abstract, that takes so much pressure off mm -hmm. because you're not feeling like, oh, I have to make a perfect shoulder, I have to make a perfect arm, I have to make, you know. Yeah, that's what appealed yeah. to me because as y'all can see, I'm, you know, I have to go abstract. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the best way. And you can connect them. If you cut. wanted it perfect, you would need a photo, take a photograph. Yeah. <laughs> and paint on top of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 you could do that for sure. Okay, I see what you did. All right. Yeah, I just came around with mine because I'm going to have something in their hands right there. So I'll probably put a, you know, some tiny flowers or something to oh, be trailing sweet. down. Or you could put a little heart right there. Mm -hmm. Or you could cover it up and just have their arms going straight down and disappearing into the row. Well, there you go. That's You know, way. that's always an option, mm -hmm. too. Okay, I see you didn't fill it all the way in. No, I, yeah, I, I just... You know, more arms. or less where the arms are going to be. That way, any piece of this arm that's still showing mm -hmm. afterward, uh, I can't believe I didn't bring a brown. Brown's my very favorite color to use. <laughs> and I was just looking, I looked at those pictures, and I'm like, these are the colors I need. <laughs> well, they're good colors. Yes. Are they at the house, your colors? Yeah, okay. yeah. I have one of those, and I just got some pink in there, but that's okay. Yeah. I have one of those things, you know, like at the beauty shop, they roll their, like, permanent rollers and stuff mm -hmm. around in. Oh, yes. I have a black cart like that. Oh. And in all the little drawers, like my top drawer is full of my blues and greens, and uh -huh. then my reds, oh. and, you know, and then my yellows, and then my neutrals. And uh, if you want one of them a little more pink flesh tone, I accidentally got some pink okay. in that section there. There you go. <laughs> I can handle that. I mean, there's plenty oh, here of the is. other, but it, you know, I just was thinking to smear a little of a of another color in there sort of looks good too. Now, if I want his hand, I'm thinking I would like hers to be together like that, and his to be down. So, do you just kind of? Sorry about that. We had another phone call here, uh, but yeah, like you just this just far came down on, or? maybe even a little farther and just sort of just like that, and then because they'll just blend into the robe oh, in a minute. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the indication of where her hand would be kind of a thing is, okay. is the I'll way let, I think I'll let it. her hand be the one, like, holding a little bouquet oh, of flowers yeah. and mm -hmm. stuff. And then his can just be free for him. Awesome. I'm like all hooked on that pink now, so I'm keeping getting more of that. Yeah, you, you can probably see another video previously of Terry and, uh, showing what he, she and Eric had done with the wood. Because Eric, uh, what, seasoned them? What's it called when you put them in the house and let them get... Oh, climatized. Climatized yeah. them, and then yeah. he, he planed them, and he, he uh, made them just really nice and, and beautiful and made sure that they were ready. And then they made the... The, the two of them made the flag display for the flag that was on my daddy's uh, coffin at his funeral. And then they made the little, my brother really wanted a, um, 
uh, like a shadow box disc player. So we ma they made it out of the same wood for me. And um, it'll have things in it like my dad, um, he's uh, Texas Aggie, Giga Mags. Woo. <laughs> Sorry, LSU fans. Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> And we were at the game. Oh, oh my God! It was an amazing I'm glad game. Glad I wasn't. I'd be still I throwing up. I know, but it was y'all. Everybody, <laughs> was those guys game. left everything on the field. Yeah. Players were amazing on both teams. Oh wow! But anyway, back back to this. Um, so my bro, my daddy always um, did when he was at A and M. He made he was in animal husbandry, and one of the things they had to do is learn how to butcher your animals that you would have mm -hmm. on a farm. Right. And so they made their own knife. And so daddy's got this, we call it the wicked knife. Because if you used it, you were going to get cut. It's got, it was perfect for daddy's hand and it has kind of a blade. Oh, yeah. So this thing's what, you know, 60 years old mm -hmm. and everything that he made way back when he was 20. So, that's so um, awesome. Yeah, so that's going to go into the shadow box. Because they made different sizes of the shadow box. I'm sorry. I mean, and uh, just, he, he's a bread maker. So his last bag of bread. My brother wanted to cut the panel out and put it in the back, so that's going to be like the background and everything. And my sisters are thinking, I have thought of a few other things to put in there. Both my brothers have too, so we haven't got it all done because we're still <laughs> kind of getting it collected. And as you know, as somebody sees it, we fill in the spot. But I am going to try to, if y'all want to see them making it. There's a video earlier in the year about. I don't know if I so. put it in my sisterhood page. I can't it's on remember. Stovall Millwork page. Okay, well, it, yeah. it's, you can For see sure. what they did, and it was just beautiful and amazing, and oh, it was a lovely, you. lovely gift. I, I, my family just loved it. Are you going to do. How's that? It's, do you think oh, it's dark awesome. enough? Okay. I love it, love it, love hey. it. Are you going to have the largest amount of your wings and gown be white? Or I wouldn't want it pure white. Is there a, a, a color we can put in with it? Just not the brown. <laughs> no, no. Well, no. I'm th yeah. here. Here's what I. The other way I thought about making it different, and I don't know if it'll work for the wings. It might need to be in the robes. That you know I mentioned earlier, where his would have like a white with just a tint of mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. other, and then hers would be a tint of another yeah, yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I yeah, was thinking. Yeah, yeah. That's so. what. That's what I'm thinking too. So I'm thinking what. The probably the best thing to, for us to do right now would be to each get some white paint. I don't know if you don't have much left, but if we much. need more, uh, we'll get more. Uh, and go ahead and rough in this? our wings. You can uh, in the in the in here. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, this. Yeah. Okay. And let's uh, <laughs> see. That's what you do with your with your brushes when you're done. You put them in this big one. <laughs> And now we're Okay, so I need to get a little bit more of the white. Yeah, I'm Jeez. getting you another Where's brush. Your... I'm trying to find it. Find Where's your a... little white paddle? Because I don't want to contaminate I, I, it. I contaminated it already oh. with blue. <laughs> so about one one little paddle worth, you think, about yeah. that much? Oh, yeah. Because it, it, it will always get more if we need more. Well, this is true. One, two. I kind of have a, each one of them. Now we're just going to use uh, little flat brushes. This is about a half inch, so about a half inch flat. And alrighty, no one for you, one for me. Oh, got it. And we'll just uh, dampen it. And I need to put me some white in my palette because I flesh toned mine all up. And we'll just get the white on there first, and okay. then we'll go back in and and add oh, some color. You know okay. what I mean? And kind yeah, of smear yeah. in the color. It almost like marble it almost mm -hmm. yeah. okay okay and then you can use as so much it, or as I little i just do it down like this mm -hmm. just like sort of out out of the shape of what what, what you I put with your okay mm -hmm. what you did with your pencil i'm gonna watch you do the first okay because i'm not sure where to stop um um it's hard for me because i can't see very well to oh. get in there but i'm getting in there right up to where my wing starts at the okay. shoulder and I'm, I'm just using the side of my brush now. And then as I come around this corner, I'm going to lay it on its back. Okay. And just sort of go up and semi-follow the line that I put there earlier. I'm not wanting it to be perfect. It is angel wings, so I'm going to sort of loosen it up a little up there. Okay. And don't don't forget you can turn your... I, oh, yeah. I can't believe she's doing two at once. <laughs> hey, I'm going to paint today. Instead of up painting, I'm going to go home with two. <laughs> But well, it, I kind of wanted them to be done at yeah, the same time, so I, I they'd like be that. sort yeah. of similar, but not yeah. exactly the same. And just 
you can, if you wanted it to be perfectly straight, you would just lay the brush down flat and go until there's no more paint, and then, uh, Okay. Or if you want it to be, like uh, this, you see? Yep, oh, I Where love that. I love that. I love how it goes off, but I love how it fades down, Kinda because that's out. very feathery. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'll uh, try to do that. And we're just filling it in, and, and we, we're not needing this to be completely smooth, and we're not needing to protect the arms there so much or anything like that. We're just getting some paint on here. Okay. And trying to go in the same direction. We are are trying to go in the, you know, uh, vertical. Where if, if, if the wings had a, well, mm -hmm. you know, just think, will angels have wings? Would angel wings have the veins in them like bird wings do? Yes. Or the bone structure like bird wings do? You know, not necessarily. I'm just saying if you think yeah, artistically. I think they do. <laughs> in my go. mind, they do. In our mind, artistically, that's what we need. And I'm seeing where to go. So the inside of it's kind of right around in here. Yep. Okay. And you can go all the way up to where you want your... Uh, your robe to come, mm -hmm. or you can leave a space between the edge of your robe and your and your wing too by thinking about that, you know. Okay. And I'm not wanting to leave on mine. I'm not wanting to leave any definite brush strokes. I'm wanting it to be kind of choppy. But this is just our base, so we're still going to, you know, some adapt more. these. Okay. Trying to decide if that's how I want it to be or if I want it to be full like yours. See what I mean? Both look very good. They I mean, really that's a do. very nice angel style. Okay, I mean, I think I'll yeah. keep that one. I'll okay. see if I can mimic it over here on this side. And I'm kind of just feathering mine out on the sides there a little after I did it. That wasn't my original intention, but that's what happened. What did Bob Ross call them? Happy little miracles? Yes. <laughs> yes. We'll be, we'll take all of them. <laughs> we'll take them. We like happy little miracles. Or happy little accidents. I call Accident. them miracles. They were accidents for him. No. Miracles. Happy little accidents, but we're doing happy little miracles. And it doesn't have to be symmetrical. It just depends on whether that would worry you because the, you know, what's to say the wings need to be identical and maybe you want a little space showing between the, or background showing between the robe and the wing on one side but not the other yeah. side. So any of that that messes up and say you had the intention of it uh, touching and you went over your line, then, you know, it's still going to look it. good. You can go back and fix it, or you can leave it and pretend on you need it, meant it to be that way. And you go. always said that if I wanted to go back through later to touch yep. up, I can. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Okay. And a lot of people do that. You go to artist studios, and they work on stuff for weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. You just go, you know, paint as much as you want to paint today. And when you're done, you go home and come back, and tomorrow you work on it again or not. You know, I love how that's coming out <laughs> at the bottom like that. I do, too. That was cool. I'm going over my arms a little bit because I think my angel had one man arm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is okay, <laughs> Not exactly what I was going for. There's more in, in painting. There's more importance to want to and having it come from your heart than it is to creative talent because creative talent can be learned. Uh, techniques can be learned. But putting your heart into it is is what makes it special you know yes. I wonder if uh, you know a Picasso would be as important to his kids at the time or you know as it would to us today yes it, you know well and I'm sure that anyone who, who chooses to do anything that's kind of artistic like this 
you, you see it in your mind, yep. you, something else might pop up that you're thinking, oh wait, this is, I think I like it better this way. Yeah, mine very seldom comes out on the canvas the way it was in my mind. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, that's the thing. If I can teach anything, it's to give yourself some grace, enjoy the process, and if I absolutely hated this at the end of the day, tomorrow I could paint a paint over. I could paint the whole dang thing over a whole new background and put a butterfly on there. <laughs> it, you know, it absolutely uh, is very forgiving. I like that. I needed yeah. it to be forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> seems to be wanting to be this way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, that that that's a very good way to put it. If you're if you're working on it, just start going with the flow, and you're enjoying yourself, and it's just happening. It it sounds silly to say, but it sort of tells you what to do next. Yeah. It, it it really does. After you get in the flow, and you don't stress about it, and you're and you're enjoying it, it's just. You know, you just quit thinking about it, and it's it lowers my blood pressure. For oh, sure. definitely, it, I can know, see. It's I can see how that would very be the case. relaxing. And I, and I I feel like I don't mind glancing over to kind of right. see what they look like, but I don't feel like I need to just match matchy. Exactly. So, exactly. You know, I like I like it. I feel like the the. I mean, this definitely has some personalities Love of it. my grandson. <laughs> Love it. And, and, you know, and, and I can already tell. How about that? You know? How you know, cool I'm sitting there going, yeah. <laughs> While Sharon's working on her wings, I'm going to try to decide what I'm going to do about this. I laid out this pink and I laid out this blue, which was actually a magenta and mm -hmm. a cerulean mm -hmm. blue, mm -hmm. trying to decide whether I'm going to blend those and make a purple, whether I'm going to lighten them up and go with that, and I have no idea, so I'm just going to, I'm going to grab a, a palette knife. My El Cheapo plastic one that works very just as good as my more expensive is. ones right here it needs to come in a little bit more. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep. Need to have more wing back there. Yeah. But you go ahead. You do what you need to do. I'll listen. Yeah. Well, that's I, I figured that I wanted to give you time on that, and I and and because I'm going to be him hawing around, you probably have an indication in your mind of what colors you want already, and I don't. Mm-hmm. Uh, You're still thinking of your colors. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right now, I'm still trying to think of what in the world I'm going to do with these colors. And I tell you what, I'm going to do. I'm going to use them all. That'd be cool. I'm going to go with a take a little bit of my magenta and mix it with some white. Sort of swirl it there in the middle. That is awfully bright. And then I'm going to uh, do the same thing and bring myself some white over there beside that well you know what I'm gonna just bring a little bit of that blue over here sort of swirl that it's a different shade of blue than uh, than my background blue so I'm not gonna worry about that and then between the two of them I'm gonna mix them together to come up with a little bit of a shade uh, you know sort of a lavendery purple shade to sort of tie it all together. Love that. Yeah, that one's good. This is what you're gonna kind of float on on the, on the up side of it. Ooh, I need a little more down here. I'm gonna go back to my angled brush because I'm gonna wanna try to get a little bit of a neckline in there and go around these arms and all that and I'll, that'll be a little more detailed than I can do with um, that but what I'm going to do is do the bottom skirt first because that way Sharon can be working on her wings and then we'll go through all this right. top part together. I'm grabbing some of the sort of swirled blended magenta and white. Uh oh. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> Oh, they 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 get weakened like that in the ferrule. That's what this metal part of your brush is called, is a ferrule. 
they get weakened in the ferrule uh, if your wood swells and shrinks because of leaving it in your water so mm -hmm. you're never ah. supposed to do that but whenever I went the ones that were damp this morning had been sitting in a cup of water since Jesslyn and I were painting on Friday I think or Thursday so now and then uh, you don't have to stress over that so much either but now and then uh, it's gonna happen that your brushes stay in your water. <laughs> that weakens the ferrule. Good to, good to know, good to remember. Yeah. Just get your wire pliers out and bend them back. Yeah, pinch them a little bit. And you could go flowy with the robe because none of us here alive today, I don't believe exactly know what those robes look like or you yeah. can just keep filling it in. Uh, I think they look like pure energy. Yes, that's awesome. An you awesome know, whatever thought. you you think of, you know, energy would look like that's this glowing, glowing yeah. energy. Just love. Yeah. Pure. Pureness. So whatever that would look like. Swirling in the darker and the lighter. Now I'm going to come back over with a little bit of white. And just sort of try to give some movement to my skirt here. And all I'm doing is kind of building up little layers of the wings. You know, if you wanted them See to what be, I mean? uh, yes, I like that. And if you wanted them to be more chunky, uh -huh. we could uh, add some of this texture paste. Okay. You just mix it in with your white paint okay. and then you could either use a palette knife or your brush and you just lay it on there to where it, you know, almost like if you're whipping cream and uh -huh. you're looking for a stiff oh, peak okay. and then the peak will dry on there. So do you mm -hmm. want to try that in yours or do you want to just stay with it? I think I'll stay with it yeah. like this. I like the idea. Yeah. Um, but I, I can always come back and do that later. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. After it yeah. dries. Absolutely. What I'm doing now is, you know, uh, see how it's kind of down here. And I made his more, and I made hers a little more go out like a little girl's hair might flip oh, out. Oh, yes. See how I did that? Mm -hmm. I just kind of like the way cute. it looks. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then, of course, I did a few little streaks down like this thinking... Well, that'll help. But all I'm doing up here is just sort of, sort of texturing it with the brush strokes. Are they going to still show up after mm -hmm. they dry? Absolutely. Yeah, they will. Oh, okay. For yeah, for the most part, and where see you can I mean? see the gray through there and all that. Yeah. But yeah, any texture that you're like seeing on here now. Let me see if I can hold mine up close, and you can see a little bit of that on here. Any of that texture, when it dries, it's still going to be there. Now you okay. can't go really thick with the acrylic paint without adding something like a texture medium, uh, you know, like a quarter inch thick or anything because it could crack later on but if you add the texture okay. paste that adds the thickness but just the brush strokes and the you know eighth of an inch thick or whatever that's going to be just fine wow that's pretty i like the colors you put in Thank there you. and what i'm just kind of doing is letting my uh wings dry really good and then we're going to do whatever colors else we're going to put okay. in those as well so let me see you have a bluish and a magenta ish yeah what let's see what i what i brought was it whichever i mean you can put all the colors in your palette at mm -hmm. once or however you want to do it but we have a couple of shades of blue all right we have uh the magenta for the pink and then of course you add white or gray to make it mm -hmm. lighter or darker but i noticed in the in the sheets that were sort of watercolor uh -huh. looking that there was a little bit of a pale orange in there yeah. too and we can yes. mix our red and yellow together and come up with that but i found a couple of okay, small cool. tubes yes. that Let we would probably that, need would, to would, add white to you know what i mean yes, to I get a little white. bit of that in there and then you know the yellows the reds the greens and we just would add the white to those to make them uh okay the color that you want so it barely will take any okay. of the color and then adding it to your white this would be for the robe correct Whichever way, if you want to add some of that into the wings, if you want to add some of that uh, into the robe. I mean, when you're making a, a lighter shade of it, we'll probably also want to add just a tad for like rosy cheeks here okay. at the end okay. using that too. Did we have a green? Yeah, let me yeah we do green. have a green. And there was, I noticed there was a green in the striped pillow yes. on his bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the blue, the not the brightest blue. What's this one? That, that's that texture. So yeah. The, yeah. Is this the other one? This is ultramarine and cerulean, and both of them, you know, you can add okay. some white too to get it. This is the uh, ultramarine mm -hmm. that I used right okay. here, okay. and this is the cerulean mixed oh, with okay. uh, white. I'm looking. 
seeing which one I think I want. And you could, of course, go lighter, you know, okay. or darker. I think I'll try this one, the cerulean. Yeah, it's that's a very, a, that's this color. Okay. Or, well, that's this paint when it uh -huh. comes out, oh, okay, but mixed okay. with white, it's that one. I'm going to put it so, way yeah, over here. Yeah, barely any, and then because you'll want to put some white in there. Yeah, okay. or, well, you'll actually put a little bit of that in with some white that you put, pull you some white to the side okay. and then add your dark to your light but barely any. Add the you know, dark to yeah, your light. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to put a tiny bit of hit this here. Yeah. Because we like pink but we're not girly girls. Yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not sure how much of that and then I, I, I know it probably looks like I've just got a pile of stuff going here. No. It, it, but, it's um, <laughs> If you look at any of my palettes you can oh, see okay. I make lots of piles. Okay. I want to just see what that's going to look like and then I'll put the green on there and we'll start with that. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. That's okay. It happens all the time. Tiny, tiny bit. I wish they would put much bigger lids on these tubes, but uh, that's the way paint companies do. I think they all use the same lid manufacturer. Can you imagine that job? <laughs> I know. Just think of all the jobs that are put into doing something like this. I mean, you know, who, who makes this? What'd you call it? Feral. The feral. And then you've got There's someone with company. the brushes and you've yep. got people who do that. You have somebody who does the ink stuff on it. Yep. It's it's crazy. When yeah, you, Mike Rowe would love that. <laughs> yeah. Do I use the same one? You could the use, wings? Uh, I, I went back to my angled one mm -hmm. so that I could get easy ah. up in the neckline and, okay. and all that. Are you doing the robe now? That's what we're doing. Yes, okay. I'm doing the robe. Is that okay that I did that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, you could rinse it off probably a little bit better and then and then wipe it on that rag. Got it. I'm learning, y'all. Mine's drying out over here a little <sighs> bit, but uh, Sharon has a wet palette, so she's probably yes. doing good. <laughs> and uh, to do the, you can, you know, do your skirt, however, that's pretty simple, going yes, up and down. up and down. But think about how you want your neckline, if you want a rounded neckline, mm -hmm. Or if you want a V neckline, okay. and and either one is is okay, I'll probably. Oh, do. okay. I see what you're doing. All right, I see. And then we're just gonna take this brush, and that gets the neckline in there. Hopefully, they can see that. It's yeah. hard when the comments are there. <laughs> see, I can't get them. There we go. Uh, to, I, I did went with a little bit of a Yui looking V, mm -hmm. and mine will probably have some, at least sleeves part of the way. Okay. If we can mark that, so mark where your where sleeve would sleeves. end, okay. and then you're gonna uh, just sort of fill in. You're gonna cover up that top part of the shoulder, all right, and you're gonna fill in all the inside down to give this this color. And doing this now is what's gonna give your arms then their shape, because right. you're gonna cover up part of your arms with this color mm -hmm. to and get them to whatever shape that you want them to to end up being my girl's gonna be holding uh some flowers or something so i want it to kind of come down at a little bit of an angle toward okay. the center there and then i think i'll start with the boy i'll use this same pink and don't forget if you need you can turn your always you can turn your can canvas turn it around as i need okay. yeah if it gets to where you're like oh i want this to be a really good line how can i do it Sometimes you just have to turn it around. And I'm thankful for this because I wasn't happy with how my uh, wing was coming out of the shoulder, but there wasn't a whole lot that I could do because I, you know, without being able to see good, I couldn't get in there like I wanted to. And I'm going over mine a little bit uh, straighter, and that's a little bit darker. I'll add those colors in, but when I'm adding the other colors that I streaked down here through the bottom, I'm going to add a little, use like the points of my thing here. I'm going to just get, go into this really in blue so that you can hopefully see it from up there and get just barely any on the tip there and use that to sort of mark the armpit. I don't know how else to put it any better, but sort of marks the 
you know, the sides, and you can do that a little bit around the neckline, come down. And if you wanted your robes to have a streamer or something, you could put some of that in. That's all just a personal preference, but I'm not leaving it, you know, solidly showing like that. I'm going to blend it in, and that becomes a shadow that indicates where the underarms and things would be. You have to take it all the way to the bottom. Yeah, I just went all the way to the bottom with mine. You can even, a lot of people come around the bottom. Oh, and okay. You know, with the same color as the mm -hmm. as the dress. Mm -hmm. Or the robe. What a good idea. trying to decide. I want hers to kind of go like this, but since he's a boy, I'm thinking a little bit straighter. Yeah, I think that that'll indicate more masculinity yes. without having to do much of anything else to. Mm -hmm. Plus, I, I'm choosing to tie in the tiniest little bit of black. You see what mm -hmm. I mean? Where it's just going to be a hint of it, of the robe. Yeah, and I, it looked like in the in the picture that there may have been, uh, I couldn't tell if it was navy and white or black and white in his bed skirt. It's navy. It is navy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And you can use the shades and tints of your colors to indicate where shadows would be and where oh. light would hit it and things like that without having to really change your color. You can add a little white in or a lighter color that you're using mm -hmm. and shade it in darker in some other areas and that ends up giving you that effect. I got too much on there that time. You can also decide, you know, at this point or at some point whether or not you want your angel to have hair. Um, a lot of them have, don't, most of them, the abstract ones at, at least, don't have really a face. You can end up putting in, you know, an indication of, you know, where the eyes would be with a little dot and pinking up the cheeks just a tad and things like that. But you generally don't try to do a face because it's, not as easy and not as fun and it's a different style of painting but i usually do put hair never for any particular reason i try to i always believe that whatever i'm led to put on there that whoever this angel is supposed to belong to that color is going to mean something to them what I'm probably going to do is go with this yellow because I have it out here on my palette from earlier and didn't use it and streak it in a little bit with, uh... Now, how do I make, with his little hands in the robes, do I just sort of make a little, kind of like I did here, little... Yeah, yeah, you're, you can either wait and let that dry and come back in with a little bit of the just dry brush on like oh, you did okay. with the white here okay. of the skin okay. tone okay. and just it's like the hands are going to fade into the robe so you're right. not having to worry about finger cre creating a hand they're All just right. going to kind of disappear on okay, there okay i see what you're saying now that does, does that still look okay for a little boy absolutely all right yeah i think you know um what is really odd whenever you really think about it if you think about in the bible the angels are men, uh -huh. you know, but in our mind, when we say angel, it's almost always a girl. So it, <laughs> it, yeah, you know, this is true. It, it's, so it, it's okay. 
hope this doesn't ruin anything because I'm going with this yellow. going straight there and that's going to be the part and then I'll come to the left of it on one side and the right of it on the other side. My girl's going to have kind of long hair. Kind of. Hair is usually bigger than you think it is too. Come around with that. Just sort of come down in here and a thing to never forget is this area between the back of the head and the neck we have hair there so we definitely need to put some hair there well I know this one's gonna have to have reddish hair <laughs> I'm putting a little bit of red in in this one too just for some streaks I'll wait on that, that one. looks good yep because that's the thing is let it dry for a while and mm -hmm. then come back come and, back and, and look at mm, I think it looks good though okay and their heads aren't too big for their bodies I don't think so oh, they didn't mm -mm. I was just kind of glancing at that going mm -hmm. now I, I'm not gonna need this one's the one I did the background with am I gonna need it again you think? well you did this great big one for your oh, background yeah. so this one was for the face yep I well no we did that we did the what did, did we do, do with that one? Was it the I think wings? We, did, we must have done the wings with okay. that one. Yeah, I'll yeah, because we used on this one on the on the face. But okay. yeah, I'll use this same one because I don't mind a little bit of this. Well, I've darker. got this one right here if okay. the, that I used. If you want to do that. I think I think I'll try. Just this. use the same one. Yeah, because I'm trying to get it to where it's yeah sort of a tealish. Oh yeah. Color. Mm -hmm. So. I should have brought some teal, but I didn't see no, the no, teal no. in there. That's one of my like favorite colors. It. Yeah, well, that's good, too. I like that, too. I'm going to have that tiny bit of the pink in it. Which will make it a little bit different. Maybe. The, I'm using the yellow, and it's pretty... Uh, see-through at this point but hair isn't you know blonde isn't just blonde there's there's shades and and streaks and things in there even for people who haven't went and got their hair streaked and, <laughs> and all those things it still does uh it's not solid so we do have to sort of go through with some other colors what i'm going to do is add a touched into the uh red that i had there a little bit yellow was still thick on my brush and now i'm going into our skin tone there a little bit a little bit more see. yellow in it oh that's pretty yeah that's so it's not pretty. really pinky pink yeah but that i like it where it shows a lot of the pink but then a little of the teal shining mm -hmm. through too i like mm -hmm. that that's kind of what i was looking for because, you know, she does have the pink in the, but yeah. it's not a girly pink. Yeah. Alice in Wonderland, what do you expect? Yes. She knew how to take care of herself. Hair also, when you're thinking about hair, is lighter toward the ends and darker toward the roots. So we're going to go, I'm going all over with this being my medium color with the yellow background and her bangs to one side and just trying to get it to where you don't see so much of the blue through the background uh, but have some of the yellow still show but then I'm gonna lighten it up a little for the ends and darken it up a little for the roots same color I'm just adding a little of the white back in there to get a little bit of white on there. Trying to keep rubbing some of this off so that I can keep the good point on the tip. Now 
not only thinking about the tips where the sun would have hit this more, but also where the sun would be hitting it right now. My sun is going to be coming down from this side, so here, this outer edge of the hair will be lighter. Oh, okay. The top here will be lighter. Top of her bangs, kind of straight that in, not straight lighter. Then I'm going to go into that orange a little bit, or the red, it looks orange at this point. So dry. So if I didn't have one of these wet palettes, I need to have like that sprayer thing to kind of keep my... Well, acrylics from drying out too much? Probably, if you're, well, if this light on us, the ring light makes a little bit of difference for drying it out, and I've got a little fa fan down here mm -hmm. that could be that, but I do, I keep one of those with me all the time anyways, okay. and especially, say, if you were going to get up and go eat lunch or go to the restroom or somebody uh -huh. came to the door, mist, just slightly mist the top of your paint, cover it back up, and then you can come back to it later. It's going to dry more than it would in the wet palette, mm -hmm. but, you know, it won't be completely dried out in okay. the beginning. And I'm going to go for the part again right there, kind of straight. Okay. And then come in where your roots would naturally be a little bit darker. And then this, there's going to be shadows on this hair that's kind of behind the neck. It's a little bit darker there. These inner pieces. That's pretty. It almost is just flowy looking. Mm -hmm. All right. I did well then, huh? Yep. I think so. <laughs> I'm going to mm -hmm. get a little bit of pure white to do the... Oh, I see. You're kind of tinting it a little bit. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking about where the sun would be hitting it and like just indicating a tad of a glow, sort of. Mm-hmm. Hard are three quarter sleeves. I figured his could look more like a t-shirt. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely. And since her aunt and I like uh, my son's sister, uh, my daughter, obviously, we like the three quarter sleeves. I thought, well, we'll just put that in there yep. know, as a as an indication. <laughs> yeah, she is gonna be a customer. Yes, she is. And a hackney. And they, hackney. Yeah, Cusbert's hackney. They've got, they definitely have some hackney stuff. He has an expression that when I look at him, I'm just going, oh, that's your mama. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. He's so sweet. <laughs> my grandkids, my grandson, my son's son looks just like my son, mm -hmm. but uh, Candy's kids, all three look just like their dad oh, and his fine. family. Yep. I'm getting just a little bit of the little bit darker that I made here for her hair, and I'm going to come around and create almost a little bit of a shadow in here to make sure that the the neck, there's, there's a little bit darker on the neck and the jawbone than there was the, uh, the upper part of the face. Then I'm going to do a little bit of the outer edges of the arms there, but not too much because I don't want it to look hairy because <laughs> her hair is that color. A little bit more of that to go to the upper part and lighten that back up. Does that look okay? I, I did that kind of to differentiate between where the arm is mm -hmm. and where the... Yeah, so I is like that it. good enough? Yeah, I yeah, think okay, so. Good. Oh, yeah, I like it. I'll, like leave, it. I'll yeah. leave it then. Sorry, you were mentioning shadowing earlier, so I thought, well, that'll work. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's that's awesome. So am I supposed? To, did I do okay with the dress part? I think you did great. Alrighty, or the robes I just said. The robes. The robes. It's not twelve o'clock already, huh? Exactly twelve. Uh -oh. Is it really? Oops. I'm 
surprised our battery's still going. Huh? <laughs> you know what? We're probably gonna stop at this point now because I am surprised that we still have battery. There's candy. Mm -hmm. And what we'll do is Sharon's gonna do her hair mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go back and add some things to our wings and I'll, I'll post photographs later of the finished uh, products. And that way uh, y'all can see what happens at the end. Thanks for joining us. I had Bye. fun, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for coming, Sharon. Thanks.